Hello, hi everyone. This is Shrija. Welcome to Skin or Real, where I talk all things skincare. So, if you like skincare related content, then make sure that you subscribe. Likewise, you can also follow me on Instagram, where I post more regularly. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about niacinamide and uh, along with reviewing different types of niacinamide serums that I have personally tried in the past or that I have been using um, or that I have been using in my current skincare routine. Now you guys know that uh, for the longest time, I always believed that you know uh, using a niacinamide based moisturizer is a better thing to do instead of layering another niacinamide based serum. But recent formulations from the brand and how sensitive my skin gets when I'm traveling have sort like you know all these factors have sort of made me change my viewpoint about niacinamide, and I am all in for adding a niacinamide serum into my routine provided the formulation also has something else to offer as you know compared to just pure plain niacinamide serums so starting with the first niacinamide serum in the list and this is probably my favorite formulation that i have been using at the moment so how i personally use niacinamide is that i layer it with my retinol serum at night I will use my toner, then I'll go ahead with the niacinamide serum, then I'll use a moisturizer, I'll wait for 5 minutes and then I'll go ahead with my retinol serum. I also sometimes switch the order of my retinol and moisturizer depending upon how I'm feeling. But it just like just to clarify that it is okay to pair your uh, retinol or irritating actives with something barrier repairing such as niacinamide. So the serum that I want to talk about today is from Plum. and. Uh, this product also has rice water and it is like it's called clarity boost so i'll tell you why i love this serum of course first of all like the texture i absolutely love it like it has such nice milky texture it sinks into the skin immediately i love how hydrated and plum my skin feels after using this product it is really hydrating and i think this product is perfect for layering uh, with my retinol and my exfoliators along with of course regulating sebum production in the skin niacinamide has barrier repairing properties it helps strengthen your skin barrier and this serum in particular because it has rice water extracts like this uh, serum also sort of helps brighten your skin tone and I think overall like I have not tried the new formulation from Plum this is the only one that I've tried and I genuinely enjoy it I totally understand like this is probably my first uh, facial skincare like I love the body care range from Plum but this is my first facial skincare that I've been trying out from them and it is quite good like I've tried the clarity range and stuff like back then when they were like pretty old like you know like I think they were like they were used to do these clarity gels and stuff but that was okay but this is like I absolutely love it and if you want to start your niacinamide journey and you're looking for something which is slightly hydrating also gives a brightening effect this is your product now moving on to the second product in the list and that is from simple skincare you guys know that oh, i already love simple skincare the formulations are really simple yet effective so this is their 10 percent niacinamide booster serum uh, i tried it out last year which were it was sent to me as a part of paid collaboration and then i repurchased it as well because i love the texture like it's not as thick as the plum one but again the texture is milky it works really well it instantly soothes and calms the skin i think again it's like a great product to pair up with your retinol or exfoliators i think these two serums that i just spoke about they're better for like dehydrated skin like if you have oily dehydrated acne prone skin and you're looking for slight brightening effect along with you know repairing your skin barrier these two products are really good like i do recommend giving it a try you have to try it to believe me like love the consistency of both the products now moving on to the third product which I would say is most suitable for extremely oily acne prone skin and that is called Pore Minimizer Face Serum from Dermaco. It, is it has 4% niacinamide and 5% PHA which is a mild exfoliant. So uh, again the texture is very watery like this product is extremely watery it almost feels like water on the skin. It is great for re uh, regulating sebum production. It also helps with minor pore clogging if you have minor congestion in the skin. I recommend giving this one a try at is also gent as it also gently exfoliates the skin. So again like a really good affordable formula from Dermaco. 
now with respect to uh, pore minimizing benefits uh, do keep in mind that nothing can change the size of the pores only with consistent uses you will feel that the pores uh, they appear less so that's what niacinamide does and i think this product is great for that like because of the overall texture and stuff it blends into the skin really nice. like it sinks into the skin and i really do like it but better suited for really oily acne prone skin and the third product uh sorry fourth product in the list is the cult favorite the ordinary it's their 10% niacinamide plus 1% zinc serum this is how i started my niacinamide journey like i remember i still went to this store in covent garden london when i was breaking out the texture is not very watery like it's like combination like it it's not as watery as dermaco but again it's not as thick as plum or uh simple now don't be scared by the word thick like i'm just like using it for the lack of vocabulary like i don't know how to compare it like there's just like this tiny difference in the texture this one i would say is still more like essence like like if you have used snail mucin uh it's lighter than that but again it's not very watery uh this is of course like one of the cult favorites i think it's really good at repairing your skin barrier helps minimize the appearance of pores really good for oily acne prone skin and if you have been wanting to try it ordinary now is available on nika so of course you can give it a try now the last serum that i want to talk about today it's from relatively a new brand it's called reap i think that that's the name of the brand reap and it's called glow restore serum so uh, this one has niacinamide i think it also has certain fruit extracts for brightening this ha i think it has yeah it has licorice root extracts for brightening so the texture again is it's milky it's very similar to uh, simple skin care and it's very hydrating very nice again like uh, you know one of the good niacinamide formulations i have tried trust me for this video i have tried so many niacinamide serums but sometimes i had issues with pilling like it was pilling under my sunscreen and things like that others were like too light to layer under retinol but i think this one also is really good if you want to try this one also i think has i'm not sure but i think it has uh, it has zinc it has alpha butyn let me see because it is it does have that brightening effect I think okay definitely licorice root extract is there and I don't think they have uh, alpha butyn but okay and then yeah of course it has like ceramide so great for like repairing your skin barrier overall I think at least all the niacinamide formulations that I have tried in the Indian market these are really good ones and other one that I don't have with me right now is from Requil so their niacinamide and pit stop gel uh, pit stop no <laughs> Now that there's niacinamide and copper peptide serum the blue one is also really good if you want to try that i highly recommend it if you have oily acne prone skin and if you want to work on skin texture that is a good one i have reviewed it in the past so that is all i have for you guys today let me know if you have any questions with respect to niacinamide or any other general general skin care queries i'll be more than happy to answer them for you and i'll see you next time bye